I'm Taylor Hool. I'm from Walkton Middle School, and I'm in eighth grade. I'm competing in Science Olympiad, and this event is Bottle Rockets. In here is the egg capsule where the egg is contained, and it is surrounded by styrofoam peanuts, so it is very lightweight. And in this container, we hold the water, and we have a 750 milliliter, and that's how we keep the water, and this keeps the fat from balance. This keeps regulation, so it's still a, still a round knob and easy to easy when it goes down and nice and light. When I first started out on my bottle rocket, I actually had not very much to start with, and so I was working at home, and I'm not a very big tool person, so I was using small things I find around my house. Well, I went back to my coaches, and they told me to use different types of um, holders and different types of things to put in my capsule, and they helped me go through the pro process and find different materials that would work better and make me nice and lighter. So I went from Play-Doh to bubble wrap to styrofoam. When I first came to the event, event I was anxious, yet I'm super excited because I felt like we really had a chance. And this is one of my favorite events. So when I put the thing in, I was really surprised at how high tech it is. And when we saw the bottle go up so high, I couldn't see it because of the sun. But I knew it was so high, I was just so excited to see how the results would come. When I first joined Science Olympiad, I was in sixth grade. And I'd gone on to this till eighth grade. I've always enjoyed Science Olympiad, and I always felt at home to be around people who enjoyed science like me. I made many friends here, and it is very much a family community, and it's very, very exciting to be here and know that you're competing and there's a goal to go towards. Three, two, one, and zero. And zero. And zero. So this is my Mission Impossible machine. So this year's objective was to raise this commercial nine volt battery up as high as I could. Okay, so first um, I'm gonna drop this quarter inside this tube. It's gonna conduct this circuit. So this fan is gonna turn on. This fan's gonna blow this ball across that tube. It's gonna hit the rack and pinion. The rack and pinion's gonna roll down that um, track thing, and then the tube that it takes with it is gonna knock down that battery. Now that battery is connected to that pulley system. It's gonna pull up that uh, block, and that block is gonna hit that lever there. Just gonna make that little other block fall off. And that other block is gonna figure this simple pulley, this simple pulley thing right here, and it's gonna bring up that lever, that has, this lever right here that has that quarter with it. When it comes up, it's gonna bring that quarter with it. It's gonna fall inside this red tube, that red tube right there. And it's gonna conduct that circuit again. It's gonna come all the way over here. It's gonna start that motor. It's gonna pull up that car, and then it's gonna knock down that other car right there. It's gonna fall down. It's gonna trigger that egg by pulling it open. And then the object inside the egg will fold out. And it's gonna trigger the gear system because uh, the string is wrapped around that first gear. And then after it triggers the first gear, it's gonna go to the second gear and then the third gear. And then that, when that third gear spins all the way across, it's going to hit that um, connect piece. And that connect piece is going to release that energy stored inside this gun spring. It's going to launch that glue stick right there. It's going to hit that switch. When it hits that switch, it's going to start up this motor. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. Ready, set, go. It's almost as tall as me. This is Hovercraft uh, right now, so this is the trial event. The competitors are going to build a craft that will actually hover on the, uh, on the ground. It will run down this track, and so we're going for things such as uh, a target time, so that's control the speed, variable, whether it's slow or fast, and also that's over a set amount of distance as well. There's a certain length they have to meet. They don't know that until they come in at a certain time, so they'll be able to calibrate the vehicle to make it down the track within a certain time. So this is my science of history, I'm going for 2015-16 year, and you have to propel an egg on some vehicle using a foamy mass to the designated target. So, and then you can't have the egg breaking as a target. So I have a wing nut breaking system using a wing nut that spins down the axle and just puts pressure against the hub right here. So to get to nine meters, that's where the marker is. I have to count 24 rotations. And there it is. So now I need to hoist this weight, get this weight back up here. And, and now three, two, one, one.
it's in there. Guys, don't go too fast if you don't need to. Oh, it's not good. 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 It's not